Hi and welcome to Hands-On Education. This video is about Isambard Kingdom Brunel, an extraordinary engineer in the 19th century. Brunel is known for his innovative ideas in designing tunnels, bridges, railways and even steamships. He was born in 1806 in Portsmouth, England, and in 1820 he went to France where he studied maths and engineering. In 1825, Brunel joined his father, also an engineer, in designing and building a tunnel under the Thames River in London. Building the Thames Tunnel was a momentous project. It was expensive and there were problems with leaks and ventilation. The tunnel was finally completed in 1843. In 1831, Brunel entered a competition to design a bridge across the Avon River Gorge in Bristol. His design won and work started on the bridge that same year. However, Due to issues with budgeting, the bridge was not completed until 1864. Clifton Suspension Bridge is still used today. In 1833, Brunel was made Chief Engineer of the Great Western Railway, designing a track which would carry passengers from London to Bristol. To create the most efficient route, Brunel designed a number of bridges, tunnels and viaducts across the west of England. In 1841, the route was open to passengers. Brunel even designed the stations, including Paddington Station and Bristol Temple Mead. Brunel continued to dream big and envisioned a steamship to cross the Atlantic Ocean to reach America. Many people travelled to America at this time and the journey was long. A steamship would be much faster, however most engineers believed it would need so much fuel that the ship would be too heavy to sail. Brunel designed the SS Great Western, and in 1838, this steamship travelled from Liverpool to New York in 13 days with fuel to spare. In 1859, Brunel died. His ideas in engineering changed the landscape in England and is still evident today. A timeline is really useful in showing us when different events in history happened. In this timeline, we can see that the Clifton Suspension Bridge was finally completed 33 years after Brunel had first designed it. We can also see that it was finished five years after Brunel died. He never got to see the completed bridge. For your hands-on activity, create a timeline to show when Brunel made his designs and when they were completed. For more information about this activity and more activities related to building bridges, please go to handsoneducation.com, Year 3, 4, Building Bridges. We hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye.